I recently went undercover at a big Magic tournament to investigate how players feel about the current modern metagame. Not using my normal voice, but my shaman voice. So that my cover wouldn't be blown. And it turns out all the players that I interviewed said the exact same thing, which is that the modern metagame has become way too fast and way too explosive, resulting in frustrating gameplay. Players pointed fingers at different decks, but these decks blamed all happened to have Faithless Looting. It's kind of funny considering that when Faithless Looting was printed, it wasn't all that explosive. But lo and behold, it is now the second most played card in modern. Modern, largely due to the new Phoenix deck, which can use Faithless Looting to play two Phoenixes turn one. And because of that, a lot of players I interviewed are running multiple surgical extractions in the main deck. And since all the players I interviewed expressed the frustration toward Faithless Looting, you can be sure that Wizards is also receiving feedback like this. And there happens to be a ban and restricted announcement coming in just a few days. The odds of Faithless Looting being banned are astronomically high. Now, I don't take any joy in that, because I'm pretty certain that I featured Faithless Looting in my decks more than any other card, since it's great for transformative cyborgs and explosive gameplay. With that, that said though, I understand that the metagame may not correct itself on its own, and a Faithless Looting ban might be inevitable. But now here's the issue. A lot of people have bought Phoenix decks, and banning Faithless Looting may deal a huge blow to how well this deck functions. So that's what we're going to investigate with today's deck, is it Phoenix without Faithless Looting? In the absence of looting, we're going to have to have ways to discard Phoenix, and that's why we're running three Lightning Axes instead of two, as well as four Is It Charms. It's cool that this card does three things, but the main thing we're using it for is its third ability, which says draw two cards, then discard two cards. So even though we can't discard two phoenixes turn one we can discard two phoenixes turn two pretty reliably and potentially get them out by turn two so here's the game plan turn one we can do something like thought scour semen visions but we can also use rift bolt rift bolt has to spend one which means they'll be cast on the following turn turn two rolls around rift bolt gets cast and then we can manamorphose followed up by is it charm that discards phoenix and phoenix comes back that turn because we did cast three spells that's the new game plan other than that we have a lot of the same cards that you'd find in a typical is it phoenix deck ops lightning bolt four thing in the ice two terramanders and for added gas we have one gut shot and two surgical and the sideboard is basically the same thing you'd find in a current Is It Phoenix deck. So all in all, it has the same game plan as what Is It Phoenix deck has today, minus Faithless Looting, and in place of it, Is It Charms, Rift Bolts, and an Extra Lightning Axe. And now the question left to answer is how good is this version compared to the current version with Faithless Looting? And so let's get to the gameplay to answer that question. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and let me know in the comments what you want to see next and what you thought of this deck. But without further ado, here's the gameplay, and I hope you enjoy. Opening hand could be difficult to pull off. You have this to discard. Yeah, I'll keep it. And it looks like it's burned. This shall be difficult. Back in our turn, Mana Morphos. Okay, so now we're looking pretty good. We can do this this next turn. For now, I was gonna do this, but I think we should do Bolt instead. Keep that from doing damage to us. Now they're with Jesus. Lightning Helix, sure. Better Helix than a creature. Do we go for it now? The odds aren't great. I think instead we set up Visions. Mm, neither one's really what I wanted to see. And might as well Thought Scour as well. And what do you know? We hit an Arc Light. So next turn we can go boom, boom, and hopefully either hit a land or a zero costing something. Another Helix. You're the critic. And back to us. Okay, so let's go. Manamorphose. Land, cool. Now I'll do this. Dumping Phoenix. And a little bit late for this so drop that and thought scour see if we can hit a third phoenix nope just two swing for six it's a long road back at this point but we'll see if we can hang in there what is these rift bolt suspended okay so we can terramander off uh, perhaps suspend rift bolt eh. we'll swing put them down 12 suspend this thing play terramander and might as well try and fire it now yep and then pass back rift bolts us for three if they have boros charm we lose and there is a concede even though we'll only deal 11 that turn is it what i mean okay i mean would have had it next turn because next turn i would have done this into this and then bolt so on to game two so go on in the game two and dump two surgical extractions one is a charm to put in two dragon claws and one lightning axe and with that let's go to game two opening hand balls total balls sweaty balls mole oh man super balls mole really balls uh mole okay we'll keep we must prepare the lube for our buttholes let's go visions uh, okay bottom both back to our opponent thing in the ice on top oh my god that's so bad okay all right swings in we get two lands and then bolt one we go to six if they have two bolts here we lose. Meh. Meh. Okay, we're going again three opening hand it could be good we have visions and that two terramanders though really too early for that but i can see this working so we'll keep i mean it's better than mulling down the four so visions yeah all right land on top then thing in the ice next turn if they have a goblin guy we get an extra card yeah lava spike play land and back to our opponent rest in peace sure at least we have a thing in the ice so what to do i say we opt bottom and visions hmm i think we just go with charm though dumping these two hoes and next turn this thing flips unless it dies the opponent just passes back okay so let's go for it manamorphose and dragon's claw and Interesting, interesting. Let's try and force him to move. Well, no, no response. Okay. And then vision. Mm, bottom, and then I suppose top. Wing for seven. Puts them down to nine. Back to them. What disease? Firewalker. Do we still want Rift? 
Ball, and eh, maybe not. We'll dump it. Another thing in the ice. And Phoenix. Well, might as well play Phoenix, which is easy. What? Oh, deal four to us. Sure. And then opponent concedes and gives us the match. I mean, I wonder what was in their hand because they didn't do much that game. They kind of got flooded and they have this thing, which is okay, but it's almost not even worth bringing in against Phoenix. But it is promising that we can beat Burn, which usually has a really good matchup against Phoenix. So things look promising. And now on to the next one. Opening hand, not too great, but turn one in this. We can set up for something good. So we'll keep. And yeah, let's see what we get. Manamorphose, cool. I say we top both of them. And then back to opponent. I'm sensing I could dash shadow yeah i'm gonna take the thought sees and back on our trends go manamorphose visions and then arc light Ooh, that's kind of awkward i say bottom both i think we have enough with one here yeah and then pass back what does these opponent passes back and thing in the ice okay cool thing in the ice is good might as well go that as well and pass back opponent passes back strange and charm nice nice do we go for the charm we can actually pay four for this now that might be risky or we just play the arc light right away yes i play the arc light wing for four and then pass back it is that shadow because they have street rage and there's shadow and there's another shadow but guess what the power of math swing four eight boom look at that clean win i mean they got stuck on land and they kind of beat themselves but look at that clean win and now we're on game two no changes to the sideboard and yeah we can start off with this even if they discard us we can go this or this or this turn one and no discarding interesting could do this but i think the better move semen visions thought scour okay visions and angler interesting only we had lightning axe but oh well instead let's go thing in the ice and the next turn we do big explosion and pants and now back to our opponent. Now other visions. Opponent swings for five. And fatal push. No explosion in pants after all. Oh, well, instead, let's go Manamorphose. And then double Thought Scour, probably. One Thought Scour, no Arc Light. Let's do another one. No, we're hitting nothing. Oh, vision. Charm wouldn't be terrible, especially with Manamorphose. All right, bottom top. And then back to our opponent. Opponent Thought Scours. Hits us for five. Back on our turn. Let's Manamorphose. Oh my god, it's so unfair. Oh, guess we just do this. Meh. This is so sad. This is racist. Go on to game three on a dump a gut shot and a rift bolt. To put in two surgicals. So hopefully when they thought scour, we can like grab one of their thingies, like a death shot or angler. And with that, let's go to game three. Opening hand looks pretty good, actually. Unless they thought sees us, but we can do this into that. But we'd have to hit like a surgical to make it worth it. Yeah, we'll keep. Opponent cycle street rate. And thought sees us. Oh boy. So we lose the manamorphose. Fair enough. Thought scour. Hmm. I think the smart play here on our opponent's turn, we'll do one of these, dump that, maybe counter something of theirs if we have to. Yeah. Another street rate. Thought scour. Dang. End of turn. Let's do this. Draw on discard. Phoenix. And probably that. I would have kept the charm if I had known we would draw that. But oh well. Do we thing in the ice? We just go for the Phoenix. I and mean, we could draw on like a lava axe. Not that likely though. They could have fatal push and then what will we do then? So I guess we'll go with the more lame option. Thing in the ice. And then pass back. Thought scour. Bobble. And opponent swings in for five. Sure. We take five. And back to us. I say we go for it. Let's go thought scour. Well, we didn't get very far there. So pass back. And just remember, what's the point of this? At least we have phoenix to keep us company we can actually deal six next turn all right we go to nine best move here i say we fetch island phoenix we can put them down to potentially one they could have a bolt i mean it's not the most likely thing in a shadow deck of bolt but it is very possible and a battle rage okay well take that wow they won't even let us have that fine not like we have gut shot or anything so a bit of a grindy match but we kind of almost got it i mean it's hard to tell so on to the next matches to figure out if this deck is good or not opening hand we can turn to phoenix if they play a creature so i say we keep and it's tron so no creatures from them so for now i just say we play a land and pass back opponent passes back blue tron so they might have counter i suppose the safest thing here is just play thing in the ice see if it gets countered nope all right back to them opponent passes back oh, interesting interesting could do a lot this turn that just depends but let's try it manamorphose this would be a good card to counter if they could no okay so we opt, opt um, and pull another land so we opt again and watch this clever move we're gonna go lightning axe on thing in the ice discarding this but before the damage can go through it flips into a 7 8, survives the axe, and now we get back Phoenix, deal 10, put them to 10, and then back to them. Thirst for knowledge. If you squint really hard on that flask there, it kind of looks like a wiener. He's so thirsty. He's a thirsty boy. Oh, and there's the concede. All right, that is kind of bizarre. I always expect that Blue Tron has counter in hand that's ready, but I guess not always. So we're going to game two. We're going to game two and dump all this to put in all this, and with that, let's go to game two. Opening hand. I mean, it's not terrible, it's bearable. That should be my new slogan. That's pretty cool. Terrible, but bearable. So we'll keep. Oh, it passes back. Let's, uh, Opt, I suppose. Mm, 
bottom and pass back. Opponent passes back to us. Mm, no plays from us this turn. I mean, do we thought scour? Yes, thought scour. Do hit a land. That's good. And do we try Terramander? Yes, yeah, do Terramander. If it's counter, then no one really cares. And it's not counter. Okay, cool. Opponent passes back. We could dump a lot of stuff in graveyard for this, where we can do thing in the ice and flip it next turn. But the counter potential. Eh, let's just try making that into a big boy this turn. Because even if they do have counter, they might not think to use it. Five spells in graveyard, six, seven. And now we make it into big boy. They could have repeal. Ah, oh, they do have repeal. Could have been worse though. Could have flipped the thing in the ice and then have it been repealed. That would have been bad. Why not play his expedition map? And also a relic. Bit of a tough call here, but I think the safest move would actually be thing in the ice rather than trying to go with a terramander because I doubt they'd let us get away with it. So thing in the ice. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Okay. Here's the thing though. If they fetch with the expedition map this turn, we can destroy that. Yep. All right. Yeah, let's go for it. You might as well also take the repeal just to be safe because like my mama always says, better to be safe than pregnant. Oh boy. Oblivion stone condescend. Thirsty and thought not. I don't see us winning this. The Oblivion stone alone is going to set us back. I mean, we could play that in response. Ah, oh, man. All right. And they go with thought not seer. And of course they take the terramander and another relic. Okay. Back in our hand, let's go charm, I guess. Yeah. That big boy move. So we have a chance now. Blood moon. Oh, they condescend though, right? Oh, shit. I totally forgot for a second. Ah. Oh. Okay. Back to them. We're not saved. The magic gods must be punishing us for watching too much anime. The opponent's going to swing in with an 8 8 lifelink vigilance. Oh, blocks. And all visions. Flip this to hand. Rounds a bolt. Phoenix and surgical. You got to bottom both of these. Play the Phoenix. Swing for 10. And back to our opponent. Thought not seer. Batter skull. Mm, fine. Phoenix. Swing for 6, but then I'm going to swing in for 8. We're going to have to block. This is going to die. Then we go back up to 8. So even though we deal 6, they'll still be ahead. So yeah, they got us. All the anime. But who can pass up anime? It's so good. So we're going to game 3. Game 3. No change to the sideboard. Kind of a whole lot of nothing in our opening hand. But we'll try and turn that nothing into something. Start off with Thought Scour. Nice. Arc Light and a Thing in the Ice. That's pretty gangster. No plays that passes back. So we could go Thing in the Ice or we can be aggressive and go Arc Light. Probably be patient to do Thing in the Ice. Yeah, pass back. It passes back to us. Interesting, interesting. All right, let's go for it. Oh, well, that's more grande. Yeah, with no blue out. Yeah, let's do it. Boom. All right, back to opponent. Oh, never mind. Okay, back on our turn. Let's go Op Phoenix. Got to bottom that. And we could Surgical, but let's instead abrade this dude. Then swing in for 10. Opponent goes to 7. Back to them. Yeah, it's that card again. It's going to bring me so much joy from now on when I see it. And there is a concede, so we actually get the match. I mean, it felt like we were losing more than we were winning, but I guess it was good enough. So now on to the next one. Opening hand, we have the charm to dump that, so I say we keep, despite having a ton of lands. For turn one, let's Thought Scour. Another land. Okay, back to our opponent. Hmm. Back on our turn. Thing in the ice. Yeah, I'll play thing in the ice. Back to our opponent. And it looks like we'll be able to pull it off. We'll go vision, set up for charm. Meh, bottom both. And then charm. Ooh, an opponent counters. That's not muy grande. So suppose we pass back, but it's not the end of the world. Because if we had gotten out Phoenix this turn, this would have flipped next turn, putting this back in hand. So might have been for the best. I'm gonna pass this back. So let's try this again. Charm. Ooh, and two phoenixes. And now we surgical on that hoe, flipping this hoe. Ooh, that's not good. Two cryptics at Jace. The path to exile and a supreme verdict. Okay, so now we gut shot. Swing for 13. At least we can put him down to six. Oh, wait, no, they have path to exile. Never mind. So they go to nine. Pass back. Supreme verdict. Back in our turn, we go manamorphose. Do we wait? We have cryptic, so we might be able to pull it off now. That might be our best shot. Thought scour. Nah, oh, almost got there. Okay, pass back. On it, plays the Jace. Back on our turn, Terramander. They can balance, they have cryptic. I mean, we're not going to win this. I'm just going to skip to when that loss finally happens. To spare you from the misery. One eternity later. Oh my God, please kill me. This never ends. Oh, we've milled ourselves to zero, thank God. Oh, oh, that was horrible. So go on the game two and dump all this for all this. And with that, let's go to game two. Opening hand seems all right. We can do that. Yeah, we shall keep. I suppose now we go Thought Scour. All right, pass back. Oh, pass it back. Bell Pierce. So we should probably hang on to that and wait to this next turn. So pass back. Mm, they're anticipating that blood moon shoot all right back in our turn let's go manamorphose they attempt to negate but they don't call me thick for nothing spell pierce and let's try thought scour meh no arc light do we surgical i suppose we wait on surgical pass back on ops and where be their lands at and there's blood moon cool so let's play it a little bit risky here let's go surgical on the gate mm, mm. They could go Jace next turn, but Blood Moon will do some damage. And now we we'll go with the Blood Moon. Back to our opponent. So they go with the Jace. Let's actually try getting a Phoenix, and if not, we just go with the Bolt Land. Let's try and get that Phoenix. Oh, muy grande. So Bolt, and now swing in for three. Back to our opponent. Three days later. Opponent passes back to us. Swing in for three. Hmm. Opponent attempts to bounce. To make them pay two for it. Yeah, it's the right move, because by the time they pay it, we'll be able to use these two to counter whatever's coming next. So unless they have this spell, we're looking pretty good. Moon Bounce. Can they defend themselves here? There's a path. We'll try to counter. And a second path. And do we surgical now? It's surgical 
Cryptic, yeah. That was right, guess, but they also have a path and a rest in peace. And I saw the wreckage and a detention sphere. Yikes. Alrighty, though, back to opponent. Opponent hits our land. Hits our other land. Opponent then plays rest in peace. Opponent hits our other land. And I guess we go Drake, even though they have a path in hand. Okay. Might as well vision tier as well. Back to our opponent. And detention sphere. It's kind of funny how I always complain about Phoenix decks, but now that we're actually playing a Phoenix deck, it seems like there's a lot worse decks to deal with out there. Like a lot worse. Like unbearable worse like giving your grandma a sponge bath kind of worse or cleaning your grandpa's butthole <laughs> but back to this let's go blood moon thought scour all right back to our opponent on it plays to fairy thought scour into lightning bolt i'm just gonna go for it now oh damn that actually did it opening hands try and make this work we'll keep not that we have much time to think about things turn one let's go visions bottom bottom okay let's go thing on the ice and if we lose one we got a second one back to our opponent hits our land shirt come on play a path play a path um, i suppose play another thing in the eyes uh, i could have board wipe though all right let's play it back to our opponent oh it passes back to us mana morphos okay we'll pass back to play it safe opponent ops end of their turn let's go mana morphos and then op phoenix nah. surgical might as well try and bolt them opponent prevents it surgical on that maybe should have waited for that but it is what it is have to exile in response let's go dispel and they dispel our dispel oh what Ever. Not much in hand. Snapcaster, though. You can Snapcaster path at some point. Ooh, let's go, Phoenix. I'll prevent damage, but whatever. Then play thing in the eyes and pass back. Oh my god. Some things in this world are just pure evil. All right, well, on the bright side, we can do this. Path to exile. Maybe should have held it, but whatever. We don't have any time left in our timer. Oh, Crackling Drake. Play Crackling Drake. Mm. No bueno. Oh, Blood Moon, yep. But where is that Snapcaster at for Cryptic? There it is. Back to opponent. A few moments later. Oh, it's over. All right, fair enough. So in the end, we actually went three and two. We played against Burn twice and won both of them. But the matches are so similar, I'm just going to show the first time because it's pretty much the same match both times, exact same thing. But I am surprised that we won those because I thought like Burn would be good against us, but uh. And overall, I'm surprised the deck did as well as it did without Faithless looting. I mean, it definitely was not as explosive as before. And I doubt it'll stay at the top of the metagame without looting if looting is in fact banned. But it's still a viable deck, and I don't think someone should like panic sell their cards over it unless they really want to. I mean, maybe now is the right time to sell, but if the ban does happen and people are like, oh crap, I'm stuck with all these Phoenix cards, like it's still a viable deck. Three years ago, I played Blue Moon with Thing in the Ice heavily, and it was nowhere near what this deck is here. Thing in the Ice just felt super slow back then, and even though this deck feels more like a mid range control deck without the looting, it's still pretty gangster. And if there is a ban, it might open the door to a different color combination, like maybe a black Phoenix deck, but that'd be super cool. Or like even like a mono black Phoenix deck, how cool would that be? Anyway, I got some ideas, but for now, that is all and if you're new to the channel subscribe if you want to see more content like this because it makes me very happy in pants and as always i hope you have a great day